He is a kind and decent man, a dedicated public servant, and one of the best bosses I've ever had. He is always a gentleman. Bill and I flew thousands of miles that year in a four-seater prop plane to towns and cities all over America, where he met with local law enforcement leaders, small town mayors, city council members, victims' rights advocates, criminal justice reform leaders, residents of public housing, prison wardens, federal prosecutors, religious leaders, really all kinds of people from every walk of life. We were often traveling in support of Bill's visionary initiative, Operation Weed and Seed, which sought to remove violent criminals and drug gangs from underserved neighborhoods and then allow grassroots organizations and programs to flourish, bringing hope of a better life to residents through education, opportunity, and stronger civil rights. As we met with people in communities all over America, I saw that Bill was a good listener. He was masterful at drawing out people's concerns, and he had a knack for finding the best solutions on the ground, figuring out what worked in a neighborhood, and then putting the right policies in place. He made sure politics never entered into it. Bill Barr treated everyone with the same respect, whether they were an up-and-coming chief of police, a receptionist at the Department of Justice, or an 80-year-old resident of public housing. I believe this is why Bill Barr continues to be held in high esteem by the career staff and the civil servants at the Department of Justice, and why he was such a successful attorney general. I also believe that in addition to being good policy, Bill Barr's leadership style is why Operation Weed and Seed continued on for many years after he left office. Everywhere we went that year, we were accompanied by rank-and-file FBI agents, and he was admired by every one of them that I met. More than once, I can remember being in very dangerous situations where the agents were concerned for his physical security. Every time, he was more concerned about my security. The fact that the Attorney General of the United States was more concerned about the safety of a 28-year-old staffer than his own safety tells you volumes about him. Despite his top-notch education and his stunning intellect, Bill Barr is not an ivory tower kind of guy. He went out of his way to build friendships at the department and across the United States, checking in when someone was sick, helping people get jobs, just staying in touch. He and his wife, Christine, came to my wedding, and we have stayed friends for the 27 years since we have worked together. Like President Bush 41 did, Bill Barr has a devoted and wide collection of friends, each of whom think of him as a really good friend. I remember when he was Attorney General at the age of 42, and his three daughters were young girls. Despite the long hours he kept, the tremendous amount of travel, and the time spent away from his family, his daughters admired his devotion to the law so much that each of them later went to law school in order to follow in his footsteps. As a mother myself, that too tells me volumes about the way he has lived his life and the example he has given to young people, especially women. It is no surprise to me that he's one of the few people in American history to be asked to be Attorney General of the United States twice. It's an honor for me to highly recommend William P. Barr to you for confirmation. Thank you.